Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're focusing on the Euro US dollar ahead of the ECB meeting today. We're going to have a look at this chart and some of the things to consider for this meeting and where the Euro could go. So there had been a bit of expectation a week or so ago when ECB member Novotny said that uh, he saw the ECB in clearly missing its inflation target. That was taken as a signal by the market that the ECB, the European Central Bank, may be willing to do more and increase their quantitative easing program, maybe cut interest rates at this October meeting. But since then, we've heard a few different comments. Neuer saying that the, uh, the, the policy is well calibrated, sort of suggesting that maybe the rest of the board sort of keen to keep uh, things as they are at the moment. So it's probably going to be dovish commentary from Draghi that uh, could well send the euro lower during and after the press conference, but we've got to look to see where the euro can move after that. There's a key pattern on the longer term chart that we're going to focus on next. Where the euro finishes past this meeting, inside and outside of that pattern, is really what's going to determine, uh, what's going to determine the movement going forward. So here is said pattern. It's the weekly chart for the euro US dollar. And what you can see here is an ascending triangle pattern at the bottom of this deep decline that we've had. Now, I'm, there's different ways, there's kind of a zone at the top of the, the triangle here, but I'm calling nine, um, 1460, so 1 1.1460 as really the, the key level to watch at the top of this chart. And you can see it kind of intersects with some of these peaks here. We've had a couple of false breakouts, and so we've got to be wary of that should we get above that level again. But uh, to me, a weekly close above here and then above 115, the round number, could signal that we're starting to move and, and break out of here. And you can see that this pattern actually does correspond with some Fibonacci levels. Uh, the, the, the 38, the 50 have worked quite, quite well so far. So uh, the 62%, the 61.8% the above here is right just beneath the 120 level, the round number. That could be a resistance if we do break out from here. If we take the pattern as it is, the length of the pattern, the height of it rather, would actually carry us all the way up to around 125, which would obviously be a pretty gigantic move from here. Um, and it would be interesting to see if that, that kind of thing is possible. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. Let's see what the ECB have to say today. Hopefully it can generate some movement in the market. And let's watch this longer term triangle pattern in the Euro-US dollar.